Right here. Got him. Waiting on a bite window. I'm on. Oh my God. Right there. Oh, I'm on. What a fight. Later, dude. Here it is, you guys. I finally got the video done. This is months worth of musky fishing. I put a lot of time and effort into not only trying to target and catch musky, but to complete this video. So I hope you guys really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you get the time to watch it all. Uh, with that being said, if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. It's free to subscribe and subscriptions don't cost anything. They're free. All it does is every time I upload a new video, you're going to get a notification sent to you on your phone that I uploaded a new piece of content, whether it's a post, a short, a long form video. And I really appreciate it. It helps me grow my personal brand within YouTube. So with that being said, thank you guys. And I hope you enjoy this. Sit back and relax. My musky season from 2023. It is 28 degrees this morning. Wow, right? October 31st. Uh oh, I forgot something. Speaking of which, most important part of the trip. Happy Halloween. Oh. Oh. Trying a different spot. Got all the goods. And, um,. I've been musky fishing about a week. You can see the frost on the ground. What did I say? 28 degrees this morning? Cold. See my breath. The river looks to be relatively calm. But uh, I'm going to hike this trail back. Find me a spot to set up. And uh, start casting, man. Alright guys. We are at the spot. Brand new spot to me. I'm kind of excited about it. I kind of got that first date feeling. You know, I ain't never been on a first date in a long time, but I kind of got that feeling. And what I'm hoping for is what the muskie are going to give up to me here. You know, I don't want to give them, I don't want them to give me too much, but I want just enough to keep me wanting to come back. Kind of like a first date, right? So let's get after it. No better time than the present. So. Since I ain't been fishing in a little bit, um, we're gonna start with this here uh, shallow swim dog, just to get the shoulders warmed up, just to get things working, get a little blood flowing, you know? Um, one thing about this spot is it is snaggy. So you guys may, you can critique my retrieve all you like, but I've gotta keep this baby got to keep this baby swimming there's a heavy flow of current right here but there's a flow there's a heavy flow but then there's a there's kind of a eddy also I do like this reel I'm using, but the drag system's kind of wacky sometimes. You have a feeling we're battling these leaves. It is a uh, fall, you know, leaves are falling hardcore. More so the last few days than anything. Something surfacing right there. Literally right in that current.
right there. Oh, I'm on. Oh my God, short strike. Oh, no. No! Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Freaking shore strike. <sighs> what an awesome bite that was. I don't know about this lure though, man. Like, that's like, I don't know how many fish I've lost on this thing now. And it was a good bite. I mean, it was a... Oh, yeah, look at that. It was a damn good bite. Damn good musky, too. I don't know how well you guys seen it. I can't wait to review this footage. And, uh... I mean, it hit right here. So that just tells me I gotta really slow the retrieve also when I get closer to shore. Just a, a friendly reminder. No question, them hooks are sharp. No question. I mean, I just barely touched myself. Touched myself. Grabbing it off the bucket. Come on, ski. We're in that bite window, baby. Got a two hour window, let's get it. Let's get after it. Come on. I told you the honeymoon phase is over. We're ready to get down to business now. Ready to get down, get after it. All right. I'll come down a little bit. Let's try to work this glide over this little more stagnant water. Oh my God. Looked like a tiger. Mm. Oh my god, first cast on this thing. Oh, oh my god. Oh. You guys. Okay, I'm over the first date thing. I'm over the first date thing. Let's get after it now. Let's get a real hook up. I'm ready to hook up now, baby. Come on, we're done with the first date. We had a great time. Now we're on to the second date. Let's have a little fun. Second date's over. How I missed that fish? I mean, I mean, these hooks are, it, it had nothing to do with the hooks. The majors, or the minor is getting ready to start. All 
All right, guys, let's see if we can change up our luck a little bit. All right, we are trying to regroup here. Entering the uh, bite window, you know, quote unquote, the minor. Dude, he totally missed it. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me. He totally missed it. I seen him waking behind it. Come on, dude. What is going on? Let me clean them up a little bit. There you go, that's a better one. Oh, yeah, that looks like that. I got like five seconds. All right. Hold on to him real quick. Yep, hold on. All right, guys. I'm gonna throw a little something different at him now. I've been getting that's been my best lure this this thus year thus far. I'll throw a little something different at him here because they're coming up to the top to eat that thing, and that tells me that the right presentation with the top water lure may get him to bite. Probably wishful thinking. Me too. I mean, they're coming up to eat that glide bait. Makes me think, why, why wouldn't they eat that, you know? The issue is going to be these leaves. But if you can snake it through. As bad as I want to get a bite on this. I think I got to wait for the leaf cover to go away. This bite, he's going to go fast. No question. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing loons. 
Oh, here comes a couple bros. Yeah, I saw that blue boat on its way to Metro when I was leaving. Surprised he hasn't come through yet, those boys. Oh, right there! Dude! Dude, he ate it! Dude, get, get the net, Mike. I'm getting it. That's a giant. Oh my god. Three people in there. Three people coming. Try it. Get him in there. Oh my god. Dude, that's a. Dude. Mike, that just happened, bro. Hold on a second. <gasps> <laughs> T-bone, baby! Dude, I saw that. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Did you see him come up I and did. that, dude? That was... Look at the sun. Dude. dude. Nice. You getting a good roll? I got it. All right, let it go. <clears throat> What a great bite. Still rolling? Yeah. Dude, that bite was the sickest. Come on, buddy. There, he's turning around. Yeah. He's tired. Oh, well, he went through a lot, dude. Yeah. <laughs> There he goes, there he goes. Yeah. All right, folks. There we go. Afternoon musky. That's something I rarely do. Matter of fact, not sure if I've ever done it. I'm always a morning guy, right? Um. I just really like this bait. That's why I'm gonna start with it. Look at that thing. Uh, more, you know, I work afternoons. It is a Sunday afternoon, so I don't work. I work Monday through Friday. But we're out here on a Sunday afternoon. The Lions got the day off. I've already did all my parenting needs. And uh, see if we can't get a muskie to bite. Huh? See if we can't get something going. Maybe slightly overdressed, but the temperature is going to drop with time. For sure. Just get this baby up. Flick out there. Just warm some things up here. Got a little current in here today. I think uh, this weekend, or starting tomorrow, it's actually uh, supposed to get real windy, real rainy, real nasty. Make sure our drag's tight. get warmed up a little bit my baits hung up right here got him
Yeah, I watched that guy's video last night and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me that they don't have that dredged right. Now, honestly, I got next week off. I'm going deer hunting. Um, But I was like, oh, there's a swipe right there. Get ready, get ready. He's right on it. I just had a swipe. Oh, damn it. Dude, get my net. We gotta get that big net down here. We got a bite window opening, I think. Dude, he's chasing it. I'm on. No. Oh my God, Mike. Hey. Five five, bitch. I love you, buddy. You're my good luck charm. I was like, cause I, I thought I was bumping rocks. One second. Dude, I thought I was bumping rocks. And I'm like, snagged. Is that off the new food? Yeah, no, old one. There it is, guys. Another beautiful musky. Let's get him back. He's already ready to go. Later, dude. All right, so that was the weirdest bite. I thought I was snagged. Yeah, baby. Or I thought I was banging rocks. Almost screwed that up. I mean, he came off in the net. There's no reason to throw any other bait. This thing is has proven itself freaking time and time again. They're still pretty sharp. All right, we are back on location. No, no, get me fill my coffee now. Ah, there's that. 
I ain't been musky fishing in almost a month, so what you gotta do is double check everything. Not appears to be good. Coffee does not want to stay stood up. Let's start with a little smaller something here. Just to get warmed up. Ouch. I did sharpen the hooks on this one last time. Because that lure has been bit three or four times and has yet to catch. We got heavy current today. Heavy, heavy current. But there is some little eddies and stuff here that maybe they'll be tucked in. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm just glad to be back. Glad to be back. I mean, it's not, it's, it's moving fast, but it ain't super ass dirty. Although, this has some great rattle. The water is really dirty. So, try this guy. Should be able to see him coming through the water. I don't know how much you'll be able to feel it on their lateral lines, because how much current there is, but. Oh, yeah, I see him a lot better. Dude, we can't make something happen with this guy. My guy? Fuck him up there in the current a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. 
gonna walk him down. Oh my god. Right in the curve. Oh my god. Come on, Mary. Damn. Feels like a giant. Feels big. Is he snagged? No. What's going on? Dude. Go away. Okay. You got him. I still got him. Okay. Mass chaos. Woo! Holy cow! Woo! -wee. Easy, easy. Hey, easy, big boy. Yeah. Uh, uh, easy, 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 easy. Oh. It's like right down here on a bank. What a fight. Later, dude. There he goes. Holy cow, man, I had him. I had him snagged. So I told you guys I was stuck in a log. Right there, that hook. I had the fish in the front hook, but that back hook is what was hung up in the log with the fish on it. And I had to go ahead and uh, had to go ahead and just miraculously get it un un freaking stuck. And uh, we're good. I'm gonna fix this up with the pliers and uh, get back after it. If I was gonna lose a fish, it was gonna be that one. Tell you that right now. That all looks good. I'm just gonna touch them up with the file because. Those babies. And a little bit of torch. Alright you guys. I'm not one to take off a hot bait. And throw something else. But. I did bring. I did bring a couple. With me. These are ones I bought. Months ago. That bad boy out. Bone white, baby. Tell you what, musky can't see this. In that dirty water. <clears throat> oh, 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 baby. Dude, this is going to catch one. This is going to catch. It never hurts to change baits. 
even when you catch one on a bait, it never hurts to change baits just to throw something else out there because you could be putting it in front of fish and it's not what they want. There's people that say that color don't matter. I'm telling you right now, there's things that do matter. And, uh, you know, to entice a bite sometimes, just changing color may be what it is. I don't know how many muskie are sitting right here. Was that the only one? No clue. I doubt it. But what I can tell you is I'm almost certain I've put my bait in front of more than one muskie's face. So now you just give them a little different offering. If there's more sitting in there, you give them a little different offering. Same swim action, same type, you know, same lure, different color. Really an electric white freaking swimming chimichanga. If one happens to be in there and wants to eat it, he's going to eat it, but they're going to see it for sure. There's no question. Man, there's some leafage. Some leafage caught up in this uh, current here. And these are shallow swimmers, but they still sink, but I don't want to snag them, so I kind of keep try to keep them up the best I can. Tell me that don't look good. came right up in porpoise for it. Oh man. Another good ski. See what I'm saying? I'm just saying that about changing colors. Bite window, baby. Easy. Here he is, you guys. <laughs> He's got a glass eye. Look at that. Crazy eye. Look at that. Woo, baby. Not a giant, but man, I've, this is my, this is the second fish I caught, but potentially could have been the fourth. I had two really nice follows. This one's been, uh, well, look at this face. I don't know if you can see it. All right, let's get him back. The glass-eyed muskie, he's ready to go. Just let him go. All right, guys, let's wrap about it real quick. I think I'm in a bite window. Honestly, like I've had three follows, one catch in like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna get back to it. Switch baits to that white one. They're just destroying, they're whining it. So I gotta get back in the water. Oh, uh, that one, it came unhooked in the net, 
but man, it, it ate it. So that was cool. Little glass eye musky. Let's get back at it. I got like a half hour. Maybe we can get one more. Maybe not. Let's get it. I'm having GoPro issues, guys, but um, I'm going to tell you, I'm in a bite window. Has to be. I had three follows, one hookup. One, I landed the one, and man, was that a ferocious, ferocious bite. Struck it right here by the shore. I could see him waking behind it, which was really cool. I just got to be careful casting it that way because I just snagged and was thankful, lucky enough to get it freed up. But it's the same snag I snagged that freaking musky on earlier. I don't know, some of the coolest bites are short strikes. Sure, you don't fight them for very long, but. Two for four. Two for four. Chum? Well, that current with it, you know, yeah. gets it spinning upside down. And Yeah, I like casting it and bringing it back up. I got my bite on those just free spinning. You know, way out. I just got to go because it gets tighter and goes like this. Uh huh. You just swim it. Waiting on a bite window. I'm on. I'm on. Dude, you called it. Waiting on a bite window. <laughs> That's a big one, Mike. That's a big one. Yeah, he's long. Don't come on. Waiting on a bite window. Dude, it's barely hooked. It's beautiful, dude. Dude, you gotta. Can you walk over here? Yeah. I'm kind of. Yeah, you want yeah. me to go over there? Oh, no, no. I don't want to get him in these rocks. I'm going to bring him right, in, there, I'm gonna bring him right in this hole. He's only got the back hook. Nice fish, buddy. Oh, my God. Nice fish. Dude, that's Master Angler. Nice fish. Mike. It'll be close. <laughs> Waiting on a bite window. <laughs> Waiting on a bite window. Did I not man. just say that? Oh, the bait come out perfect. Waiting on a bite window. Let me get that out of there. Oh my God. He's huge. Dude, dude that is a ma mammoth. Man, don't shake me. I gotta get I that. I got a hook in my hand. Let me get out of there.
Oh, look at this head on this thing, dude. Wait, no, what? It's not bending over, you know? Right there. No, I mean on the floor. Oh. Yeah, and go right to... There it is. There it is. 47? Dude, it's right there, dude. What's the master? Seven. You got it. I ain't gonna lose him. I just wanna give him a break. Here, let me start the video. I just wanna take a picture. If you do video, I'll just stand over here. Hurry up, dude. I don't wanna fish now. Okay. Get up here. I'm on video right now. Okay. There, well, go this way. Go this way so we can start at the head. There you go. Ready? Go slow. Go slow. Okay, let me get your face. Start over. There you go. All right, oh, go. your shit heavy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, Mike. So if you made it this far, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate each and every one of you. Again, I had to put a lot of work into making this. Again, not just the edit, but it's months worth of video content. But that last month, he did award me a Master Angler patch, which was cool. Um, I've, caught in ma I've caught Master Angler fish over the years. Uh, Michigan has a Master Angler program. You have to hit a certain weight. If it's a catch and keep, a certain length, if it's catch and release. But uh, I was able to achieve that goal. And uh, something I can be proud of. I'm going to kind of frame this with a picture of the fish. Something I've never really done, but I'm going to start doing more often. I've got a collection of these patches. So, again, thank you guys. I really appreciate you. If you've made it this far and you're not yet, please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.